Hey everybody, it's your boy Ken, aka KSJ. We're about to be gaming. Today's video, shift patterns with the one and only Nissan Rocket Bunny Fair Lady. The Z23, I believe it's it is. Whatever. I'm gonna show you how to get a quick hundred shifts in this car just to knock out your goals real quick nothing crazy i'm going to show you how it's done with that being said like comment share subscribe ask me some questions if you see yourself inside of a lobby by any chance well not in this video but in any other lobby hit me up because i'll give you a shout out i'll see you in the inside okay so we'll just keep it running whatever if you want to use it cool if not Throw it out, no big deal. Now I'm going to do the big one because there's like 10 things to go through. I got like a little list here. Okay. <clears throat> hey, everybody. It's your boy, Ken, a.k.a. KSJ. And we're about to be gaming. Today's episode, man, it's a doozy. Doozy dabbler. It's a whole bunch of stuff going on in this one. You guys are really going to want to pay attention. So many nuggets are dropping. It's like... It's raining, not meatballs, but it's raining like nuggets, like nuggets of info, like doop, 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 doop. Just hopefully like your brain's like a little sponge and just all gets absorbed like a dry, like SpongeBob. Yeah, maybe not. Okay. So we're going to be, run first, we're going to run through some goals. The best car to use for 100 shift patterns uh, that gets a perfect shift, 100 perfect shifts. I got the number one car for that. You guys can check it out. You can see how it's tuned in order to get that car to do what it has to do. Other cars will, will work as well, but that's my personal fave. It's just something to knock out so you ain't gotta like spend forever doing it. It's a really cool technique. I'm gonna share that with you guys. Also gonna go through stripping techniques and strategies. There's science to it, people. There's like a little science to it. It's not just like throw, blow caution to the wind and be all crazy with it like, like you're a kite. I'm like, oh, we're going to throw the kite. It's a windy day. And, whew, you know, whew. anyways. So uh, after that one, uh, we're going to talk about fusing parts strategies on different cars with fusion, fusing the parts. What to fuse and what not to fuse. Again, this all plays a big, a big role in overall the gameplay. And so you don't get stuck on stuff. We're also going to be talking about the BMW M4 Coupe, you know, the, with the fusing. We're going to go over the BMW M4 Coupe, uh, the Rocket Bunny Nissan Fair Lady, KJ's Nissan, Victor's Project 7, and the LM Rally Fighter. Yeah. Why RP bonuses matter when fusing. This is another thing to think about. Also going to go over our T1 classes and strategy for Angel Civic 1.5 VTC. And of course, as always, some game talk. We're gonna, or not game talk, garage talk. We're gonna go over some garage talk, and uh, gonna be dropping little nuggets in and out throughout. Hey guys, please, 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 give me a like. Say I like it, I like it. That would be great. Give me a like. Hit the subscribe button if you already haven't. Put on notifications. If you find yourself in any game that we lined up on, give me a shout out because I want a shout out to you, and let you know, like. I appreciate you. Let's line up. Let's team up. I think we got some open spots in, in, in the crew also. So uh, it's been a little bit bleak recently uh, during the times, but overall, um, you know, we're still we're still here doing our thing. All right, guys, listen. Enough of enough of me yapping. You guys got an idea what you're about to get into? I'll see you on the inside. Hey guys, what's going on? I'm just coming at you with another uh, another tutorial today here on the CSR2 Racing. I want to go through a couple, uh, you know, a couple things that you can do that will help the that will help the um, you know, could like perform perfect shifts and things like that. And hold on, all right, I'm back. Uh, so I just want to go through a couple things here to. Uh, for instance, like perform 100 perfect shifts. You know, I'm going to give you a little tips and tricks on how to do that quickly. Um, 
I always said your fusion parts do not like fuse everything. Like once you get a fusion, you just go ahead and start <clears throat> like fuse. Like oh my, you know you got a fusion now you want to go ahead and uh, and fit it. Don't do that. Wait. Because of things like this. If you would have fused all of your parts, then you wouldn't have anything to fuse. You'd be like buying crates or doing whatever. Um, guys, if you like the content, please hit that subscribe button. Also hit the notification. I'm going to try to at least post you know, once a day, maybe even twice a day, two videos a day. Uh, I just want to crank a ton of content out for this game because there's a ton to be done. And um, I need your feedback. Let me know if you like what, you know, what I'm doing here. Uh, so, <clears throat> um, getting back into it, let's do 100 perfect shifts, right? Some people are like, man, 100 perfect shifts, that's a ton of races, that's this and that. It is, uh, but let me show you a little hack we can do. So get a car that has like a very aggressive shift point. I mean, you'll see what I mean. I like to use a Nissan, <clears throat> the Rocket Money Fair Lady. Um, you can probably use any car, something that just has a really high shift, like a fast shift point. Uh, we're going to go to Tune. I'm going to run you straight through all this. Let's go to... Let me turn this down some for you guys, just in case the music drowns me out. We're going to go to Test Run. We're going to do Half Mile. Manual Launch doesn't really matter. Here's what you do. You're just going to... You can watch first, and then I'll... Tell you what I'm doing here. You get to a rhythm to where you're just cranking out perfect shifts. Back, forth, back, forth, back, forth. So let's see how many perfect shifts I got there. I started with one. Let's see how many I got real quick. I normally do this two or three times, just back to back to back to kind of show you. Um, but just on that one right there. Uh, here's what you do. 42 shifts. <laughs> yes, I did 41 shifts there. So um, I tuned a car. I'm going to collect that. I'm going to go ahead and just rock through this real quick uh, to get another, the remaining balance of my shifts. I'm going to try to get like 58 shifts in. We're going to see if I can do that real quick here. <clears throat> in a half mile. So, like I said, something simple, a little hack. shifts there I guess let's see <laughs> I'm curious I almost it almost feels like I did worse than I did the first time that's what it feels like <clears throat> no I definitely didn't get 50 58 there okay so I got a total of 78 um I'm just gonna pause it I'm gonna do it once more just to do this and then we'll move on to the next Okay, I'm back. That last one, dude, I just murdered it. I probably did get actually like 50 shifts on that last one. I was just like on a roll. I had a good rhythm going. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and fuse six parts. The only thing I don't like about fusing all these things is that sometimes I want to use my fusions for like different cars or cars that I anticipate on getting later on. Um, you know, th things, things like that. Like... Uh, like a BMW, for instance. Like, let's say this one right here. This, so this is a BMW. Let's say I used all my Fusions, which I did because it's one of the first cars I got, was this BMW. Now, just by default, this BMW right here um, is at 30%, you know, for RP bonuses. 
versus this one without any, this one off rip is 45%. So it's a 50% increase. So obviously racing with this BMW is definitely way more beneficial than racing with this one. Now, sure, I could take off all the fusions off of this one and it's going to cost me a thousand gold probably or five. I don't even know how much, but it's going to cost a lot to, to strip all the fusions and then go ahead and uh, sell, you know, then go ahead and like strip the car, for instance, or something like that. But now I'm in a position that I don't necessarily want to strip the car just because now I have actually a, my first stage six. First, first stage six. The crazy thing is, is I've tried to fuse this. I tried to get, oh, I got two of them. I tried to get stage sixes for this car. You, I spent probably $3 million on buying BMWs and then stripping them. Buying, stripping, buying, stripping. And when you strip, you, you don't ever really want to sell a car. I don't see any benefit in selling a car. So say you go here and, you know, I could strip this. So I could strip it for 20 grand. <clears throat> I'm just not sure if, if I strip it, if I... If this, if I'm able to get my fusions back, all the fusion parts in here, or not, so I'm not really confident in that. But I would want to like take off all the fusions and then strip it. The sell the car, let me just retarded. Hey, you want to sell it for free? Like, yeah, let me sell it for free. Here you go. Like, fucking Jerry. Excuse my language, guys. <laughs> but wow. Like, whoever, like, that's a total fail. Clean up an aisle, you, whoever said, yeah, let's go and sell the car for free, dumbass. So, anyways. <clears throat> um, so, yeah. So, uh, just to kind of show you. So, if I were to go ahead and start stripping fusions off this. So, that's 20. You know, I, I'd have to, that. that's like 20 gold. <clears throat> you know, this one right here, 15. So, you know, you can see how it adds up. You know, I mean, I'm probably, you know, we'll just call it like a hundred on this. Um, you know, the same thing. 20, 40, 60, 75, another you know, 30, so 105. So, yeah, maybe it might, might be like, we'll just maybe a hundred or so, a hundred-ish, depending, you know. Uh, <clears throat> so, it could be one... Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it could be 750 gold. It's going to cost you to strip, to take all your fusions off, just to go ahead and put them back on a, on a, on a car that's going to give you more RP. Now, long game, yeah, that makes sense. But I'm not going to do that unless I really needed to say, <clears throat> unless I really needed to, like, uh, unless I really needed to, um, like make this car real fast, you know, Amelia's LBM4. If I needed to make this car real fast and I needed to go ahead and and uh <clears throat> and um uh just just upgrade it to make it competitive, then I probably would do something like that. Or I probably wouldn't. I don't know. I'm like a gold hoarder. I don't use gold for anything, honestly. I I, I just keep gold and that's it. You know, my my kid like spent eight hundred fifty gold one time because I usually give them something to do. I'll let them like, hey, watch, you know, watch my ads. So they'll watch my ads for me just to make it, you know, I don't know, make them a part of something. And then, but on accident, they're watching ads on hurrying up with uh, the Lamborghini Countach, uh, and um, they accidentally pressed the uh, like the, you know, like finish the car for 850 gold so that's the only time that actually I, I literally spent gold in this game um i can't think of any other time that i that i have uh just oh yeah you know i did have to i i i bought this uh subaru for gold actually right here this one i bought this one for gold um because this subaru i bought the subaru rocket bunny for gold um and I was strategic with it. So the thing was is that you had to enlist the car. So it was either the Subaru or the Nissan. It was like a Nissan Z33. Not the Fair Lady. Because this is the car you're going to win. 
So if you did X amount of races or you did whatever you had to do, you won this car, which I won. But I strategically said, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and buy this T3 car because I, you could either buy the T3 Subaru or you could buy a T4 Nissan Z33. It was a Rocket Bunny, but not the, not the Fair Lady Z. It was a different one uh, that they have. And I said, okay, well, if I'm going to win a Nissan, I don't want to go ahead and fuse and build another Rocket Bunny Nissan just to get us just to win a superior Nissan that is going to be um, a superior Nissan that is going to be, uh, you know, the, the Fair Lady because the Fair Lady is just a superior vehicle. Um, so I went ahead and I, you know, strategically said, okay, I'm gonna get a Subaru. We're gonna, I'm gonna pay gold for that, and then I'm going to, uh, and then I'm gonna, you know, do what I have to do to make this fast to go ahead and win this Nissan, because I didn't want to have a competing Rocket Bunny Z33 um, car when I when I was trying to win this car. Does that if, if that makes you know? Hopefully that makes sense. Um, uh, cause it's hard enough like to fuse and build all these cars because the, the, the bottleneck is fusion parts and to be ultra competitive and super confident to like max out your car completely. Then, you know, the next bottleneck is just for what it takes to forever get your, uh, what it takes forever to get like, you know, your stage sixes and things like that without spending real money. I don't spend real money. have not spent a dime in this game. Um, in the past, I've done that to where, you know, I spent hundreds of dollars on, on a game. You know, it, it was fun and stuff, but, you know, realistically, just hindsight, I'll never do that again. And I never have. and never will spend money in a game. Um, so, uh, but, okay, moving forward. So, um, we're going through these. Uh, four ladder races, fusion parts. Okay, that's where we're at. Like, let's see what we're gonna fuse here. I have a lot of options. Easily, I can go ahead and fuse whatever. I I may fuse this Nissan, but not maybe not now because now I have this GTR that I won. I beat a boss KJ's uh, Nissan GTR. So I may not want to go ahead and fuse <clears throat> the Rocket Bunny any further. I might want to just start building on this car if there's a benefit to it. Um, but I'm not there yet because I know they run certain like showdowns and certain tournaments with certain cars. But there's no need to necessarily like fuse this one when I could just make my Rocket Bunny faster if I wanted to. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, but I don't really know if I want to. Because like I said, most of my cars I set up, I down tune so they, they're like live race ready. And, you know, I always have like a live race car, uh, live race car ready to go in every tier you know tier four here's here's my tier five car the lamborghini tier four uh, my tier three would be this bmw along with this one but i don't even race the bmw anymore i always use the corvette because it's like my fave uh tier two you know this audi ttrs and then i have the, you know the very first car i started out with the very first car i bought right here is this this mustang and now it's my it's my, my, my live race car. Um, you know, so anyways. <clears throat> so what am I going to fuse? I'm not sure. I'm going to pause this so I'm not over here like, you know, thumbing around like trying to figure out what I'm going to do. And I'll let you guys know. So let me just pause this and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. I know that was like the quickest second ever. The quickest decision. And if you don't believe me, just rewind this like 10 seconds and then play it. And you'll see when I say pause and then I'm back and it'd be like, less than a second so it was a very fast decision just joking anyways um so here's my consensus here's here's basically the my the the, the logic behind this the logic is this so moving forward once you start getting purple cars those are the vehicles that you should be running if they make sense now the very first purple car uh, purple star car i ever won was the victor project seven and it was a complete shit show. Like the car is just overall, in my opinion, garbage. Um, 
you know, I think for it to be competitive, you have to completely max it out, completely have it tuned, or, you know, completely have it, like, uh, fully uh, fused, the whole nine yards. Um, in order for it to run, like, a like a 12-1 or 12-3 or something, 12-2 or something, it's, like, it's just a slow car. And I'm not sure if this car can be... Oh, shoot. I'm not sure if this car can be race-ready. Uh, you know, live race-ready, which would only make it beneficial. Because you can't... You can't win... Uh, you know, you can't win like Shaq's, what's it called, Agira or whatever the hell it is. You, you know, you can't win this car with Victor's Project 7. It's not going to happen. Um, and this car is also slow. It's like the boss cars are somewhat slow in the career. When you hit the Elite, they start getting a little bit quicker, like like this one. Uh, Angel Civic 1.5 VTEC. This one is like considered like top five or six fastest in the game in tier one um but with that being said i would much rather race this tier one civic uh and have it as a live race car just because i'm not looking for it to be the fastest i'm just looking for it to go ahead and give me high rp along with high rp along with um you know uh, along with it being able to be live race compatible and if you guys don't know what i mean check out my other videos i'm like the live race king not really but i really like what you know i i'm good at what i do when it comes to live races i guess you could say um you know within realm so i have fun with it and uh, it's a game so anyways um and games are made to like be good at right figure out ways how you can be best so so anyways uh so yeah so moving forward i'm just going to continue to build purple car you know purple star cars that's really what it's going to be about because majority of your game is going to be just for me live racing you know i mean every day i do a minimum of like 30 live races you know you have 15 you know so every eight hours it kind of like you know, it resets. Um, so, yeah. Anyways. Uh, so, if, when I go to fuse something, it's going to be a purple car. <clears throat> um, I don't really have a fast tier one car, per se, besides, like, maybe, like, the red Ford Mustang. But this one i'll fuse up but I, I i haven't even like upgraded anything on it it's all stock so i'll just i ain't gonna mess with this one right now but as far as fusing something um i don't have any other jaguar that i'm that i'm, that I'm gonna fuse so I, I could totally fuse this uh this is another this is another car that i think this is like a what is this a you know i don't know i don't have another car that's like this like like shacks agira um, I can't fuse the Lamborghini any further because it doesn't show me that I can. Um, I can do the Rocket Bunny or I could do this Nissan here. But again, I haven't even started building on this. So I think I might just go with... So purple cars and also legend cars. Because I understand we can make this a four. Because with the legend car, you get extra bonus as well. Right, I know this is at 56 right now, but that's because I got a 10% elite bonus. But I'm pretty sure we're going to get a collection bonus, which is only done through um, the Legends, the Le you know, the Legends car. And plus, you get your Legends bonus. So I think, like, making these cars fast would be ideally, like, the, the, the best thing. And I think you'll get more, you'll just, you'll get more than, like, say, a purple... You know, like a purple T3 here, like this car. You know, no collection and no uh, no legendary points. So I, I think overall, this will be like, you know, cars like this will be like the best to kind of, to, to kind of fuse together if you're going to. Now, cars like this are also, a, they're like, they're like one-offs. They're cars that just, there's no other competition. You can't buy rally fighters for cash and then strip them to go ahead and make this car fast or upgrade it fully so this would be one that's like 
I'll never use this fusion for anything else but a rally fighter. So I'm going to go ahead and fuse this thing. And so I remember that I have to like go in here and re um and retune it. I'm going to mess up the tune a little bit just so I so it shows that my tune's like jacked. Well, it might show it's jacked here anyways after I fuse this. But so I need to get 6. Let's go ahead and see what we got here. Do I have one over for here? None on this. Let's see if I have one in here. Nope, zero there. Definitely got a green. Okay, so let's see. Plus seven. Let's just see what this one is. Plus seven. I've seen it before to where it was like different. Like it was a couple points different between of me like fusing on say this one versus fusing on this one. You know, of the same color. So we're gonna go ahead and fuse that. So that's one. Okay, that's two. That gives me fifteen. Fifteen. Okay, fifteen. That's two. Which one's this? I'll just start from the bottom and work my way up now, I guess. It don't matter. Okay, that's three. Five in here. I'm gonna stop it right here at six. There's six. Okay. So I'm not going to go ahead and tune this. I know it's gonna tell me, it's gonna show me I like my little right here in the tune. It's gonna show me, okay, you have to fix it. I'm gonna leave it. The reason why is because I really when I tune cars, I go through them and I spend like an hour on every car minimum to make sure I got the tune correct and make sure that uh, then I test. So sometimes I can spend several hours on one car. So I'm not going to do that right now. And I'm not going to take you guys down that road. Uh, donate five crew tokens. Let's just go ahead and do that. I'll show you how to do that, where to go. Right-hand side, you click uh, the crew. And then you go to perks, which as soon as this updates, we go to perks. Oh no, wild cards, I'm sorry. You go to wild cards, and then you donate. So we're just going to donate five right now, because that's that's what it's asking for. Um, and boom. There it is. We donated five. Okay, we collected that one. Next is... Okay, next is win four ladder races. Let's go ahead and jump into four ladder races right quick and do our thing. So, um, hold on a second here.